Every one of us has felt the sting of regret at some point, those moments when we wish we could turn back time and make a different choice. But what if I told you that some of the wisest people in history had a secret to living without regrets? It's true. The ancient Stoics, thinkers like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and Epictetus, mastered the art of maintaining tranquility and making decisions with clear, unwavering vision. Today, we're diving deep into their world, not just to explore philosophy, but to extract practical, actionable advice that can transform the way we face every single day. From managing stress and anxiety, to making choices that align with our deepest values, the wisdom of Stoicism isn't just about understanding the past, it's about taking charge of our future. Stick around, because you're not just going to learn about these philosophical giants, you're going to discover how to use their teachings to lead a more fulfilling, regret-free life. Let's unlock the power of Stoic wisdom together. I promise you will walk away with a toolkit that might just change your life. And before we jump in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay with us throughout the entire video, because each segment is packed with insights that build on each other, helping you harness the full power of Stoic wisdom to revolutionize your life. Marcus Aurelius faced one of the most devastating pandemics in history, the Antonine Plague. This catastrophe could have led to mass hysteria and chaos, but Aurelius chose a path of calm and deliberate action. He implemented practical measures such as subsidizing funeral costs, recruiting new soldiers, and even selling personal possessions to fund military endeavors. His responses were not driven by fear, but by rational decision-making, a hallmark of Stoic philosophy. This historical episode teaches us a profound lesson in resilience and perspective. Stoicism encourages us to see the repetitive patterns in human history. Marcus Aurelius himself said, Look back over the past, with its changing empires that rose and fell, and you can foresee the future too. This insight suggests that by studying history, we can better prepare for the challenges we face today. The notion that history often repeats itself isn't just a cliché but a grounding principle that can offer us comfort. It tells us that the trials we endure are not unique, that others have faced similar, if not the same, struggles. Connecting this stoic wisdom with the thoughts of other philosophers, we find echoes of similar sentiments. For instance, the Greek philosopher Heraclitus noted that, nothing is permanent except change. This aligns with the stoic understanding that the world is in a constant state of flux, and that our experiences are merely part of a larger recurring cycle of events. Furthermore, Aristotle observed, he who learns must suffer, suggesting that adversity is a necessary conduit for learning and growth. Today, as we face global challenges, be they health crises, environmental issues, or societal upheaval, we can draw strength from these lessons of history. The current events may seem unprecedented, yet if we look through the lens of history, we see a tapestry of human endurance and adaptability. This perspective doesn't just serve to comfort us, it empowers us. It encourages us to approach problems with the same rational and composed mindset that Marcus Aurelius exemplified. By embracing history, we do not just learn about the past, we also learn how to face the future. Stoicism teaches us that our reactions to events are within our control, even if the events themselves are not. Epictetus articulated this when he said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This mindset can transform our approach to modern crises, helping us to see them not as insurmountable obstacles, but as opportunities for growth and improvement. Embracing history through a stoic lens involves recognizing the cyclical nature of events and understanding that our current challenges are part of a larger historical context. This recognition helps us remain balanced and proactive rather than reactive and overwhelmed. By studying how figures like Marcus Aurelius dealt with adversity, we can equip ourselves with the wisdom to handle our own crises with grace and resilience. Marcus Aurelius insightfully noted, we all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinions than our own. This profound observation highlights a common human paradox where our self-interest often gets overshadowed by our concern for others' opinions. In today's digital age, 
This issue is more prevalent than ever as we are constantly inundated with a barrage of opinions, news, and social media updates. This overwhelming flow of information can significantly amplify our worries and anxieties. Marcus Aurelius teaches us a valuable lesson in Stoicism, the importance of filtering out the noise to focus on what truly matters, our own values and actions. Stoic philosophy encourages us to maintain our focus on our own conduct and character, rather than getting swept away by the sea of external opinions. It's about recognizing what is within our control and letting go of what isn't. As Epictetus famously said, only the educated are free. This education isn't just academic, it's also about understanding the wisdom of emotional independence and discernment in the face of external pressures. This stoic principle of focusing on oneself and ignoring external noise is critical in our modern context. It teaches us not to be driven by the fear and greed that often permeate public opinions and media sensationalism. These external forces can cloud our judgment and detract from our inner peace and clarity. By adhering to our personal values and focusing on our actions, we can maintain a clear path forward, undisturbed by the chaos that might surround us. This concept of ignoring the noise resonates not just in Stoicism, but also in other philosophical traditions. Socrates emphasized the importance of self-knowledge with his dictum, Know thyself. He implied that true wisdom and peace come from understanding one's own nature and not being swayed by the opinions of the masses. Similarly, Plato spoke about the allegory of the cave, which can be interpreted as a call to focus on the enlightening truth of reality rather than the shadows cast by society's falsehoods. By adopting this stoic mindset, we learn to prioritize our mental and emotional resources towards what genuinely benefits us, fostering resilience and a sense of autonomy. We learn to distinguish between useful feedback and mere noise. This discernment allows us to remain steadfast in our principles and undisturbed by the often unfounded fears that can otherwise guide public sentiment. By practicing the stoic principle of ignoring the noise, we equip ourselves to navigate the complexities of modern life with greater composure and effectiveness. We learn to trust in our own reason and decisions and maintain our course with confidence, free from the distracting and often misleading clamor that seeks to divert us. This approach not only leads to personal peace and clarity, but also enables us to contribute more positively to the world around us, grounded firmly in our most cherished values and actions. Stoicism teaches us that the essence of a well-lived life isn't just about enduring difficulties, but truly finding joy and presence in each moment. Marcus Aurelius provided a powerful directive in this regard. Remind yourself that it is not the future or what has passed that afflicts you, but always the present. This wisdom encourages us to shift our focus from what was or what will be to what is. By centering our attention on the present moment, we engage fully with our current tasks and circumstances, which can significantly reduce anxieties about future uncertainties. Mindfulness, a core component of Stoic practice, involves a conscious effort to be aware of our environment, our emotions, and our thoughts without judgment. This awareness anchors us in the now, helping us to break free from the endless cycle of worry and speculation that can cloud our minds. It teaches us to appreciate the current moment, whether it involves simple daily routines or more complex tasks, finding depth and satisfaction in the immediate experience. Epictetus emphasized the importance of concentrating on the present with his advice. Do not seek to have events happen as you want them to, but instead want them to happen as they do happen, and your life will go well. This sentiment underscores the Stoic belief that peace comes from aligning our desires with reality rather than wishing reality to be different. Moreover, the practice of mindfulness has parallels in the broader philosophies of Aristotle and Plato, who also valued the importance of being attentive to the present. Aristotle spoke of virtuous action, which involves being mindful of our actions and choosing those that align with virtue in the present moment. Plato, on the other hand, suggested that true knowledge and happiness come from understanding the forms, which can be seen as an encouragement to deeply engage with the reality of the present, 
to grasp the truth behind appearances. In practical terms, mindfulness can be cultivated through various simple but effective practices. Taking a few minutes each day to meditate, focusing on one's breath or the sensations in the body, can enhance our ability to stay present. Similarly, engaging fully in tasks, whether it's eating, walking, or conversing without the distraction of our digital devices, can heighten our appreciation of the current moment and reduce stress. This emphasis on the present is not merely about ignoring the future, but about cultivating a quality of attention that makes us more effective and responsive in our current actions, which in turn prepares us better for whatever the future holds. By practicing mindfulness, we learn to live more fully, less burdened by unnecessary worries and more enriched by the beauty of the immediate. This stoic practice thus not only enhances our personal well-being, but also improves our interactions and contributions to the world around us, making us more thoughtful and compassionate individuals. Marcus Aurelius once penned a reminder that seems especially pertinent in today's fast-paced world. Life is short, that's all there is to say. Get what you can from the present, thoughtfully, justly. This statement encapsulates a core stoic belief about making the most of the here and now, not in a hedonistic sense, but in a thoughtful, purposeful manner. We find ourselves in what's known as a delayed return environment. This means that many of the benefits of our actions, like working hard, studying, or investing, aren't immediate. They pay off down the road, sometimes years later. However, the human brain is wired to respond to immediate rewards, which is why instant gratification can often be more tempting than working toward long-term goals. Stoicism offers a remedy for this modern predicament by encouraging a balanced approach. It teaches us to find value in our daily efforts and to recognize the small victories and joys that are present in the now. This approach doesn't mean abandoning long-term goals, but rather appreciating the steps we take each day to achieve them. Seneca, another prominent Stoic, advised, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. By embracing this philosophy, we can learn to savor our daily activities, whether they're mundane tasks or steps towards larger aspirations. This appreciation of the present moment can reduce the anxiety associated with delayed gratification and help us maintain motivation over the long term. Connecting this to contemporary psychological concepts, we can look at the benefits of mindfulness and gratitude practices. Studies have shown that being mindful and expressing gratitude can increase overall life satisfaction and reduce stress. These practices align closely with Stoic teachings, suggesting that taking time to appreciate our current circumstances can enhance our overall well-being. Aristotle's concept of eudaimonia, often translated as human flourishing, also echoes this sentiment. It emphasizes living in accordance with virtue and finding fulfillment in the journey itself, rather than just in the end goals. By focusing on the present moment and the inherent value of our actions, we can cultivate a sense of purpose and contentment that sustains us through life's challenges. In our modern context, adopting this stoic principle means being mindful of how we spend our time and ensuring that our daily actions align with our values and long-term goals. It involves recognizing that every moment has potential value and that by making the most of each day, we contribute to our overall happiness and success. This perspective can transform how we approach our lives, helping us to find joy and meaning in the journey rather than solely in the destination.